how's everyone doing? And welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Von the Stat Man. Follow me on Twitter at Von the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VonTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, week one was brutal. So if you watched my previous videos, if you didn't use some of those players, you would have did absolutely well. Week one, first time I remember that quarterbacks couldn't get 10 fantasy points, running backs couldn't get 10 fantasy points, and receivers couldn't. It was a very, very tough week. But we'll get into all of the breakdowns and the recaps and more later in this video. But first, let's get into witness protection. These are the players who let us down. These are the players who were supposed to lead us to fan duel glory. These players are in witness protection. 3.2 fantasy points, Burrow. What do you got to say for yourself? Uh, well, Stabman, I'm sorry I stole money from you on Sunday, but I promise I'll get it to you next week. Burrow, you are in witness protection. Ready, Najee? 4.3 fantasy points. Oh, uh, step man, man, them 49ers was tough. Our line can't block. I'm sorry, man, but I'll make it up for you next week. So don't put me in witness protection. Really, Chase? 6.6 .6 fantasy points? What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, uh, step man, I thought it was supposed to be bombs away on them Browns, but I guess they're not the same old Browns. So I know this week I am in witness protection. So before I proceed with this video, guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Thank you, guys. Okay, so Jalen Hurts only gave us 12.5, guys. That's Bill Belichick. He had the whole offseason to study this guy, so he actually came and made his adjustments. Now, Jalen Hurts will have better days ahead, guys. He gave us 12.5. He had a rough day, but don't worry about it, guys. It's week one. Don't overreact. Jalen Hurts will be fine. Now, Nick Chubb didn't do too bad. He had 14.7 FanDuel points. He had 106 rushing yards, 21 receiving yards, but he didn't get into the end zone. But he did well, guys, compared to what some of the other running backs did in week one. Now, week two, he'll be better. Woo! Running back Robinson had 13.1 FanDuel points. But what saved us, guys, is that he got a receiving touchdown. He had a very bad day running the ball. The Arizona defense was much better than people gave them credit for. But hey, we'll take 13.1 on a slow week. All right, so wide receiver Hill was my favorite play on this slate, guys. And he got 39 FanDuel points. Guys, he had 215 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns, and 11 receptions. In the beginning of the season, I said he would be wide receiver one, and so far, he is wide receiver one. Now, wide receiver Pickens gave us six fantasy points, guys. What hurt him is that his star receiver, Johnson, got hurt, so that means that all the attention went to him, but I believe next week he'll bounce back, and he had a spectacular catch, but it didn't count, so week two will be better. Now, wide receiver Sutton was my gut play, guys, and he got 11.2 fantasy points, got it to the end zone, guys, saved out line. So that's what happens, guys. Sometimes they have big weeks, but 11.2 was considered big by the standards from week one. So week two, we'll do better. Hope you guys played tight in Hurst. I told you he was going to be one of the favorites of this new quarterback, and he did well. 12.6. He was one of the top tight ends on the slate, guys. So if you had him, you did well. So we had him in ours, so we'll do better next week. Although Odell Beckham gave us 4.7 fantasy points, he had two other passes that drew penalties. One would have been a 25-yard touchdown if he wouldn't have been grabbed, and the other one, you never know what could have happened. Hey, but that happens in fantasy. Next week, Odell Beckham, as he gets more involved, will have better days ahead. All right, guys, so the Philly defense gave us 13 fan duel points. They got us a pick six. I'm glad that I picked this defense because I knew they was going to go up into New England and do well. They're not as good as they were last year, but they will still do all right. Guys, the line did a 126.9, meaning you would have cashed in any format, guys. Not bad for week one. Now, week two, I will be much improved. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. If you made it this far, guys, hit that subscribe button.